I have created two products so far. The first one is Apple Magic Mouse Black, which is going to be a standalone product. The second one is MacBook Pro 16 inch Space Black. The actual plan is to convert this product to a bundled product. Now the next steps that I'm interested in doing are, I need to create a product record for each and every line item here. I'm already done with creating a product record for this. I need to create individual product records for each and every line item here. Finally, I will mark this as the bundled product so that when user picks up this particular product in the quote line editor, all the subsequent sub products will be automatically added. So real quick, let me go ahead. Let me create product records for each and every line item that I see here. I'm going to copy this. Back to products, new product. Let me paste this here. I'll give some product code, probably APPL M3. I'm going to mark this as active. Product family is going to be hardware. Rest of the all other fields go easy with them. Click on save and new because I still have to create three or four other products. This is going to be the second product. I'm going to paste it here. Let me move this to the end. I'm going to add Apple in the beginning. Product code is going to be APPL 48 GB. I'm going to mark this as active. Family is going to be hardware. Save and new. Repeat the whole song and dance for the rest of the other products. Probably I'll do it for two or three other products and you can repeat it for the rest of all other products. I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. Product code is going to be 1TB SSD. Active. Product family is hardware. Save and new. I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. Move this to the end. This is going to be LR XDR. Market as active. Hardware. Save and new. And finally, I'm going to repeat the whole process for this as well. I will leave it to you to create two product records for these two line items. This is going to be USB C 140. Probably I'll move this to the end. Market as active. Hardware save. When I go back to products, so far, these are all the products that I have created. Now, if you take a closer look, there is nothing different in these records. Apart from the product name, rest all other fields are exactly the same. That is going to leave us with standalone products and that is not the reason why we are here. We are here to create a bundled product as well as a standalone product. As far as the standalone product is concerned, we are already done with this. That is going to leave us with bunch of individual products and that is not the reason why we are here. We are here to create a single individual product as well as a bundled product. Here I have already created the single standalone product. The next thing that I need to focus on is converting this record to a bundled product. So real quick, let me open up this as well as this. If you try to compare these two records, apart from the product name and product code, there is no other difference between the rest of the other fields. Now, if that is the case, how can I say that this here is going to be the bundled product? That is based on a specific related list and that related list is called options. As of now, for both the records, we will not have any records for options related list. However, towards the end of this episode, we will be ending up creating few option records. Now, given to product records, if someone asks you which one is a standalone product and which one is a bundled product, the very next thing that you got to do is navigate back to the related list and check if there are any records for options related list. If any record has got records in the options related list, then that becomes the bundled product. As of now, both the records, this and this doesn't have any option records. If you remember, as I had mentioned earlier, there are two changes that we have to do 
to convert a standalone product to a bundled product. The first one is we need to create option records. And why is that? Because when the end user picks this particular product, I need to specify that as a part of the bundle, these sub products are also included. So what I'm going to do is the first configurational change. Let me click on new for option related list. You'll have a label here which says optional SKU. Don't worry about that. Pick the first product. And that is going to be this one, Apple M3 Max chip. This one. So for this bundled product, I'm specifying that this is going to be a sub product. Instead of explaining what exactly is the number field, I'm going to give a number. I'll show you the output. Probably then you'll be able to connect the dots. Followed by that, you'll have some interesting fields. Go easy with that. That is because we will be revisiting the screen in a moment. Click on save. I need to repeat the same process for rest of the other sub products as well. Optional SKU is going to be this time. Forty eight GB unified memory. Number, I'm going to give this as five. Now you might be thinking, why did Krishna give one earlier? And why is he giving five now? Why is it not two? The answer is we'll get there. Just tag along and we should be good. Save and new. That's because I need to create three other option records. The next one is one TB SSD storage. I have it here. The number is going to be 15. Save and new. The next one is going to be liquid retina display. The number is going to be 20. Save and new. And finally, 140 watts charger. The number is going to be 25. Save. There you go. We have created five records. We are not yet done. We still have to do the second configurational change. However, now if someone gives you these two product records and if they ask you just by the looks of it, can you tell me which one is a bundled product and which one is a standalone product? You'll be pretty much able to do it. How is that? You need to navigate back to the product record. Click on related. You'll find five option records here. So this one here is going to be a bundled product. As far as this is concerned, you don't have any option records here. So this here is not a bundled product. We still have the second configuration change to do. However, let me show you the output of what we have done so far. Let me pick an opportunity record. Probably I'll create a new opportunity record. Click on new. The opportunity name is going to be 100 plus MacBook Pro 16 inch. Close date, probably the end of the month. And I need to associate this with the account, which is going to be Nike. And then page is prospecting type. You can pick any value lead source. You can pick any value. Go ahead and save the opportunity. I can track the dollar value of the deal with the help of the opportunity record. Let me take the help of the quote record to select the products and also put associated price to it. I'm going to mark this as primary quote. Opportunity is going to be 100 MacBook Pros. Account is going to be Nike. And then as of now, type is draft. Click on save. With the help of the approval process, I'll get the status as approved. But for time being, I'm modifying it manually. Hit the save button and then I need to add line items. Choose the standard price book. I'm going to click on products. Let me search for MacBook. 
you'll be able to find this product. However, when you search for Apple, you'll only be able to see the Magic Mouse Black, but not the other products. That is because we have not added the price for the products. So real quick, let me do that as well. Let me open up all these product records one after the other. Related. Let me add a price to this product. This here is going to be 49 bucks. And this here is going to be 499 bucks. And this here is going to be 89 bucks. And this is 199 bucks. I'm going to mark this with 799 bucks. So I have added price for each and every individual product. Now if I refresh this and if I search for Apple, or if I search for any of the new products that I have created, I should be able to see them in the quote line editor. I'm able to see the rest of the other products. Let me search for MacBook Pro. And then click on select. Hmm. I want you to focus on two visual pointers. The first one is the moment I have selected this bundled product, it did not take us to the next screen where it showed list of all the other sub products. That's the first thing. Second thing is when I have selected this product, I don't see the sub products here as well. And these two visual pointers are straight away associated to the second configurational change that I had mentioned earlier. Let us take a hard stop here and we'll be looking at the second configurational change in the next episode and see you there.